Some millennials are going broke using meal delivery apps like Uber Eats and Skip the Dishes. To find out why, we're joined by millennial Alex McKinnon. Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hang on, hang on. I'm just ordering some nuggets in case I get snacky during this interview. I mean, this will only take 90 seconds. Oh, that's a good point. I better get to. Done. Have you considered any alternatives to ordering food through an app? Oh, believe me, I tried getting my folks to FedEx me their leftovers. They weren't even having it. No, I mean like buying ingredients and cooking. I don't eat ingredients, I eat food. But surely you can't afford to order every meal from Skip the Dishes. You know what I can't afford even more? Actual dishes. And don't get so judgy. I mean, your generation had like milk delivered to you by like horse and carriage like every day. How old do you think I am? Ooh, sweet, my nugs are here. How much do you spend on food per month? I don't know, like one or two, $5,000? I don't really do numbers, but I figure a pizza box is about a 10th of my apartment, which costs 1,300 a month or so my mom tells me. So by my math, a pizza should cost what, like 130 bucks? No, no, that seems low, right? Oh, nice! My water, I was getting perched. You know you can get tap water for free, right? And walk all the way to the sink? What, you think I'm made of legs? Listen here, mister, this is the deal. I'm never gonna pay off my student loans. Climate change is going to make having an RRSP pointless. And I'm gonna have a roommate until the day he finds my bloated corpse under a pile of takeout containers. So excuse me if I indulge in this one teeny tiny luxury. Seriously? Oh, man, that's the best 50 bucks I ever spent. A hungry millennial, everyone.